my friends, and welcome back to L.A. Noir. In our last video, I did leave you at a very awkward cut. Cole and Roy are currently on a stakeout at a soup kitchen waiting for the drugs to be delivered. And I'm guessing now we're going to intervene and mayhem shall ensue. <laughs> now, let's get them. Oh, a car chase. Open your eyes. It was a cardboard box. Oh, shotguns in the, okay. All right, move. Move. Can I get- Let's go. Can I get a better gun? Uh, can I have a better angle of the camera? Sure. All right, I have a shotgun. That was like the worst angle for me to see what kind of gun I'm picking up. Everyone into position. Okay. Okay, Got gentlemen, we'll take the lead. You cover us. I'm gonna go fine. LAPD, put your hands where we can see them. Weapons on the ground, now. Go, pal! Get in there! Oh my gosh, there are so many. Hit him from this way. Go down, you gotta get away. I know, I gotta wait till I like oh no, I okay. That didn't that didn't really go so well, did it? <laughs> okay, gentlemen, we'll take the lead, you cover us. Is there a way to get in up here, maybe? Perimeter is up, the whole place is contained. Going hard, keep it tight, okay? Okay, let's try going in up here now. LAPD, put your hands where we can see them. Reinforcements are on the way. Cease and desist. Go, Fel, get in there. I'm, I, I, I am, I'm going. Damn. Yeah, I need to get closer to shotgun, right? You're covered, Phil. He's dead, fucker. Okay, come on. There, lock him up. All right, there's a couple more. Put your weapons down and your hands in the air. Where are they? Got him, Roy. Throw down, you got it, you like. I'm still gonna ice you. I'm trying to take care of this guy since I know where he is. Kill a cop, and it's the electric chair. Now I'm in trouble. Oh, we only have our yeah, handgun left. Ah! All clear? I think that's the last of them, Cole. Thanks, guys, for doing most of the work for me. Really appreciate that. <laughs> Detectives, found something here you probably want to see. Okie dokie, let's go check it out then. The body. Oh look, another silver dollar. One dollar per dead man. Doesn't seem like much for a human life. Yeah. Can 
No, I, I wanted the, I wanted the wallet in his pocket. That's what I really wanted. There we go. Tijuana address. We should see what the federales have on it. Maybe. Sea of Grass Premier United Artists. August 27th is, is, is that today. Today is August 27th. I don't think you're going to make your movie. Or maybe that's where he went earlier. Hmm. God damn. I think we found our stash, Cole. Take a look in these boxes. Okay. Holy crap. At the very minimum, another 50 pounds. Detectives, I think we got the guy. Does the name Cruz mean something to you? It certainly does. Where are we going? I'm just following this guy. Oh, we're going upstairs, okay. Garcia? He was just running around with a wad of money in his hand. Like a huge wad of money in his hand. Must be a thousand dollars here. Yet another silver dollar. Yeah. Phelps, Earl. Looks like quite a bloodbath. What was this all about? Drugs and money. What else? Speaking of money, where did that roll go? I picked it up for safekeeping. The department owes me 50. Ray, I have another two coins for you. Great. I've got something to show you. It's all set up on the table over here. There. Take a look at these coins you've been collecting. The, the department owes me for his $20. $20. Let's be clear. There are letters cut into each coin, along with not legal tender. What does that mean? Those are Morgan silver dollars from the 20s. They were removed from circulation and sent for disposal. A number of smelters around the country had the contract. Look at them together. Can you work out what it says? Yeah, I know there's mass. No, no, no. This one. And then put this one here. The oh. first coin, M-A-S. The second, A-N-G. The third, K-A-Y. The fourth, M-E-T. The fifth, A-L-S. Mesanke Metals. A metal foundry. Would you like the address? You have it in your Would pocket ever... or something? 1034 Vine Street, Hollywood. How do you just we'll know this? We'll finish up here. <laughs> it's already been a long night, Phelps. See if you can talk them into giving themselves up. I mean, like, if Cole goes a, a, a video without shooting somebody, it's weird, right? <laughs> I'm like, so messed up. Um, I got an achievement for that, but I was too busy trying to spell massing K that I missed the others, but I apparently auto solved it. Okay, so we need to go to this metal place that this the corner helper just happened to have on his person. Maybe, maybe he knows somebody from there i don't i don't i don't know <laughs> how do we i'd like to escape this area please what are you doing sir our partner i held it for safekeeping wink i mean are you gonna donate it to like the poor probably not let's be clear Ser ser serious music time. I hope that big wad of cash doesn't weigh you down. Right. It's your priority, Straight Phelps. We're close to bringing in one of the biggest dope cases of the year, and you're worrying about unsubstantial evidence? Yeah. Again, did you not... You knew who he was <laughs> before you wanted him to come over here with you. Okay, straight down then. Okay, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be all fine. 
We'll just... I, I like the shotgun. I don't mind it, but I wish I had... What was it? The rifle the one time? Oh, gosh. It was several. I think it was during traffic where we had the rifle. It was nice to have, be able to shoot from far away. A metal foundry is just right here. Excuse you. It looks derelict. Interesting. 10.40 p.m. Mass and Cave Metal Warehouse. Locked. We need another way in. Um, can't I just use my car to come in and... Look out! Oh, I can't just use my car. That's... I think I see a little alleyway over here. I don't. Huh. Oh, right here. Yep, that'll work. Maybe we should not go through the front door. The front door also looks bar like barricaded up, locked up, boarded up. There we go, boarded up. Cover the back door, bro. God damn it! You win one more hand, Andy. I'm taking my money and going home. And fuck whose turn it is to my shop. Hey, what can I say? I got lucky. Bullshit. You're cheating, and I'm gonna catch you at it before the night is out. Now deal. Hey! Throw out the guns. Down. Your move, bitch. Come get me. I'm here. I'm just concentrating. You're clear. Go. Where are we going? Didn't we get all the guys? There was only three of them. You okay? I'll tell you when I see what's waiting for us at the top. Yeah. Stay in cover. Crap, crap, crap. Give me some cover. Overcoats is cheap and unlocked. Find some cover! Ruby, shut it from now! Stay in cover! Ah! Oh, get in cover! Thank you! That's it, that's all! I gotta deal with this guy first. How long do you think you can hold out? Reload. Roy, is there a reason you're standing on the open like Let's that? Move. Catch this asshole! Huh, we got him. No, we're not done yet. PD, hands up! Victor Sanders. You know this guy? I should have known. Of course I know Roy. Roy and I have had an arrangement for Get many up. years. You're under arrest. Am I? 
We have a mountain of prima facie evidence, as well as the testimony. You'd be surprised how things have a habit of sorting themselves out. Evidence disappearing. Witnesses that can't be found. Policemen that forget. The impossible becomes probable when you have a client list like mine. Shut your mouth! Turn around and put your hands behind your back. Working vice can be a thankless task, Phelps. But on behalf of the brass and the moms and dads and the concerned citizens, I'd like to commend you and your partner <laughs> for smashing this dope ring. Reefer is almost as big a threat to the children of this city as communism. What about Sanders, Lieutenant? Leave Sanders to me, Phelps. The chief will be looking after that one personally. He will be brought to trial. Phelps, we are celebrating your success. Don't push your luck. Sanders is no longer your problem. Yes, and he's nobody's problem because he's going to get away with it. Every herb bearing seed achievement unlocked. And on my clues, didn't do so great on questions. I did okay on questions. I'm distinguished. Even without Victor Sanders, the Parnell's soup pot bust is guaranteed to go down at LAPD history. Oh, is Cole surrounded by a bunch of dirty cops? Never. That would never happen, right? Flashback. I haven't had one of these in a long time. Your platoon time. is what remains of recon. I'm folding you into the 22nd. You'll be going up that damn hill tonight. We're intelligence gathering, sir. I don't need intelligence, son. I need men who can hold rifles and kill Japs. Tonight, you're a rifle company. We've got cooks, mechanics, and stretcher bearers all going into the line. We aim to break them tonight, Lieutenant. Good to see you, Hank. You too, Cole. How's your war? Not quite what I expected. As long as I live, I will never get over that sound. Hey, who's that medic? He'll be killed going out there. It's Sheldon, the guy from the Osakawa Bridge. That guy's got no fear. He didn't make it. I didn't go out there to save him. What are you saying, man? I went out there to put him out of his misery, to ease his pain. Do you have a problem with that? Murder, Corman. That's war, Lieutenant. Smell the stench. Feel the horse breath on your neck. You need help, man. Call for me tonight, Lieutenant. When you're up on that hill. I've been up there three times already. The circles of hell have nothing on Sugarloaf Hill. Get this madman out of my sight! It really is no shades of gray with Cole, is there? Like at all. It's funny how like it's all connected. <laughs> the newspapers, the flashbacks, Cole's present, the setup. Hollywood Post, American Legion Boxing Stadium, 9 p.m. Let's go into a boxing fight. Different kind of start. You like the fight game, Phelps? I did a little boxing in the Marines. I found it a pretty humbling experience. Mm -hmm. Fix your sandwich, buddy. Corned beef and egg salad, 12 cents. Bologna and ham and cheese, 10. It's strictly a mugs game. You'll like this fight, though. A plucky limey's about to take a beating from an up-and-coming Negro. You sound pretty sure about the result. I ought to be. I got 50 bucks on the black kid. Let's get a ringside seat. Oh, it's sponsored by the Blue Room. Huh. <laughs> It's Mickey Cohen. Oh, 
Everybody seems very upset over this. That son of a bitch Hammond made a run for his dressing room. Let's find out what's going on. God damn you, Abbott! You get out here right now! Step back, LAPD. Oh, was it a fixed fight? Huh. What's going on? That son of a bitch Hammond has jammed the door. And who are you? Carlo Arcaro. I'm his manager. I'm his trainer. Interesting attitude to have towards a victorious athlete. Victorious? Yeah. We had an arrangement. We had a goddamn arrangement! That limey bastard was paid to take a nap. He reneged. And you were out of pocket? Damn right. Me and a couple hundred other people. Stand aside. He squeezed out the window. I'll put an APB out on him. Why would we do that? He won the fight fair and square. Yeah. To prevent him from getting clipped. He was paid to flop. There was big money riding on this So are fight. we here because you lost money or because we're investigating a prize fighting racket? Very funny. Look around and see what you can find. <laughs> Just like... Which is Hammond's locker? Over by the pin board, second from the end. <laughs> I don't think it's illegal to not... Not take a fall in a rigged fight. Oh, newspaper. Newspaper. Alienist Fontaine working selflessly to help the infirm. Really? I... I... You look troubled. I'm in a jam, doctor. Can I help, Courtney? Is it money? No, no, doctor. That's okay. Do I have your professional confidence? Whatever you say, we'll never leave this room. Liar. Just saying it right now. Liar. I talked some of the guys in my old unit into doing something. And it's gone wrong. I guess I did it for the wrong reasons. For short-term gain. We came home from China. On the Cool Ridge. Okay. The morphine robbery. Oh. That was us. Oh. I thought I could get the guys a fair share. Some sort of benefit for the sacrifices that they made in the war. Those guys deserve it, Doctor. Oh, I'm sure they do, Courtney. But the deserving aren't always rewarded. Tell me about it, Doc. I mean, we shifted our stuff onto this mob-connected guy, and it's been turning up all over town. It wasn't meant to be like this. The presumption was rather naive, Courtney. I know that now, Doctor. But people are dying. Hmm. Might I venture a few questions? Sure. Do your underworld contacts have all the morphine? No, they don't. We doled it out, hoping we could control it. Are they pressing you for further allocation? That's the polite way of putting it, Doctor. <laughs> I may be able to help you, Courtney. Thanks, Doc. It helps just to talk about it. I mean, I have a solution that will help you financially and salve your conscience. I'm all ears, Doctor. I will transact to take all the narcotic off your hands. And you can rest assured that it will all be medically administered. Really? I will use the funds that I no longer require for the purchase of medication and invest them in housing developments. Housing? The developments in question are housing projects for former servicemen. Your return will come from the sale of the properties, and your investment will benefit those that you care for most. Really? Does this arrangement meet with your approval? You're a magician, Doctor. Really? You believe him? No, no, no. I keep waiting for her to pull a gun out and shoot Courtney Shelton. <laughs> oh, this is all oh, this is going to just end so badly for this person. OK, five more to go. Let's let's hope I can get all of them because I really want to see how the story ends. OK, the locker was over here this way. There we go.
There's a phone number we can run by R&I, plus a bunch of names and odds. You're not the only one who likes a flutter, Roy. Hmm. Harry, Mervyn, and Ray. Just some medical tape? Don't spit on the floor. That's a thing. You have to point that out to people as spitting on the floor is kind of gross. Like how? You know, it's fine. Use you. Okay, apparently we need to go use a phone. Because there's one listed. You better find that cocksucker and you bring him to me. I feel bad too, Mickey. He guaranteed me he would take the flop. I guarantee that you will be fish food if you don't bring me... Roy, you out of pocket too? Mickey, seems that way. Don't worry about it. My boys are out looking for him. Well, you'd better call them off. This is a police matter now. If anything happens to Hammond, I'll testify that you made threats against him. Who's the Greyhound? He's a frisky one, isn't he? Cole Phelps? Mickey Cohen. Yeah. I know who he is, Roy. I, uh, met his brother-in-law. <laughs> I think you had the mixture pretty scared back there. No, I don't, I don't think so. I think he's plotting our demise. Let's be clear on that one. Oh, just doesn't like has no self-preservation sometimes. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps badge twelve forty seven. How could I help, Detective? I need an address for the following phone number. AL three four five. The address for the phone number is the Hotel El Mar, 6294 Leland Way, Hollywood. Thanks for your help. Hmm. You know the place? Flop house. Quarter a night, no questions asked. Hmm. I'll drive. I got it. I, I kind of... I, I I miss having a street crime. Have we do we have one right now? Oh, we do have one right now. It's all the way down there. Yes, I want to mark that one because it's been ages since we've done one. But it is a ways away. So let's let's hear what Roy has to say. You seem to have a pretty cozy relationship with Cohen and Stampanato. Yeah. Do I note a hint of reprimand in your tone, detective? Probably. Talking to gangsters comes with the turf. You should try out Mickey's place. He's got a haberdasher's up on Sunset. See if he can get you out of those old man's clothes that you slink around in. It's a front for his illegal activities. Probably. It is that, but he does carry some very sharp suits. <laughs> He's like, but they're kind of snazzy. If it's okay with you, I'll stick with Brooks Brothers. And is that it? Okay, well, I'm going to head to the street crime and meet you as I get closer. Any Century unit of 484 just occurred, 3155 West 4th Street. Unit to handle code 3 identified. 11K calling KGPL. We'll take the 484. What's a 484? You, you gotta help me, officer, please! Game. Slow down. What happened? I was just walking alone, not bothering nobody. And these punks jumped me. They knocked me across my mouth and took my money. How long ago was this? N not more than 20 minutes ago, mister. They went that way, down the alley there. Wait here. I think they're still down the alley. Roy looks so annoyed. Oh, look, he's, he, uh-oh. Please, you sucker. That son of a bitch is taking the car. Shit, come on, let's get after him. Wake up, Cole. Really? You're stealing a police car? That's your big play? Come on, Roy. He's getting away because you're walking to the car. Oh, 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 sorry, Roy. Sorry, sorry. 
Okay, we're running parallel-ish. Sort of. Which way is this guy gonna go? Left or right, left or right. Oh, he's gonna go left. Okay. And then he went right down here. There he is, right there. Do you not hear the siren, sir? Oh, dang it, I missed the turn. Okay, I see him. Um, gonna go left or right, left or right. Wait, left. Sorry! I'm chasing a criminal in a police car. Alright, there he is again. Wasn't that a stupid thing to do? Yeah. What? What was the purpose of that? I just, what was the purpose? <laughs> like of all the cars to steal, you're going to steal a police car? Really? <laughs> you could find one empty just sitting on the street and take it. And who leaves their keys in their car, patrolman? I have lots of things to say, obviously. <laughs> all right, uh, 12 more to go. I don't know that we're gonna get all of them because I feel like I've missed some, but all right, let's see what's going on. Is there another street crime around where I currently am that I should do? Maybe, maybe, there we go. No, there's not. Okay, well, let's get back in the car because I need to figure out where I'm supposed to be going. Oh, the hotel, that's right. Come on, Burner. Okay, locations, Hotel El Mar. And that is, I imagine it's a ways away, right? I mean, I feel like it took me longer to get to the street crime than it did to actually do the street crime. Yeah, okay, well, I'm going to drive my way there and bring you back in if something ex exciting should happen. Hey, Century, in a citizen report, suspicious activity on a trolley car on Fountain Avenue. Stand by for further information. Any Central unit. Well, I was going to go to the next stop in our case, but a street crime popped up and it was so close to where we needed to go. I figured let's just, let's just, let's just do it. Car 11 King, go ahead with the further. 11K, see the woman, a 288 just occurred on the Angelino Heights trolley, currently stopped near Fountain in Bronson. Call in for further information, 11K, code 2. It's not stopped 11K, here. 11K, Roger. What are you LAPD, talking about? LAPD, ma'am. Are you all right? That lowlife. That filthy lowlife. What happened? I was standing ready to get off and I heard a click. His camera. That pervert took a picture of my... <clears throat> Up my... Which way did he go? There! That's him! Right there! Oh, what the heck, sir? Oh, uh, fuck. Yeah, you weirdo. I mean, look at the size of... Oh, we gotta get into a car now. <laughs> go on, Another Phelps. Get after that chase. creeper. I, yeah. Hey, that's my word. You can't use creeper. All right. Not that the horn does anything when I'm chasing after people. Aren't you going to shoot him? All right, come on. Hit him. Clear this asshole off the road. I will. But he seems to be bobbing and weaving quite quickly. Get in close and steer him off the tar. He's still going. Where are we going now? 
<laughs> Car is gonna fall Hit him, apart. Cole, spin him out. I'm I'm trying to get closer. Our car is gonna fall apart. Not smoking yet. Oh, turn, you big boat! Where did his car go? Oh, it's over there. Put your hands where I can see them. You're under arrest for public indecency. And other things I should oh, hope. Christ. I mean, like, public indecency, driving badly I, I feel like there's a there should there's something it's not called driving badly because cole would be uh irresponsible driving i don't know i'm not why am i pretending like i know criminal code <laughs> especially in the 1940s bye mr creeper i mean the size of the camera you're seeing epa lady's skirt like she's not gonna notice i mean and then the way he jumped to do with the car to get away I mean, like, there you go. That all happened. All right. Back onto our main case, we shall go. <laughs> Again, it took longer to drive back here than it did to actually do the case. So we have the, oh, no, no, I don't want clues. Locations. Okay, that's my current destination. Take the next left. Can I just, like, turn around? There we go. It's the next right. Yeah, it should be pretty close. That trolley totally took him out for us, which was awesome. Excuse me. Excuse me. Stay straight on this road. No comment about running into stuff, Roy? Really? Go straight through. Straight on. Yeah, I know. I'm driving on the wrong side of the road. I do that a lot. Straight through the intersection. Excuse me. Take the next right turn. Right turn. Okay, we'll go this way. Next left. And then left up here. Whoa, sorry, I got distracted. I was looking at You're stuff. You're paying for every last okay. scratch. I need to, I need to do this. What is this? Oh, it's the bowling alley. Okay. And then... Ah, it's right here. Here's the entrance. Maybe? There we go. Cheap rates. Hot water. I didn't realize that was optional. Yeah, what do you want? LAPD. We're making inquiries into the whereabouts of an Albert Hammond. No one here by that name. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. This isn't the sort of place where people use their real names. Take a look at the register if you don't believe me. Isn't that the cop who solved the big case and got promoted? The fact that you still have a register. I don't know why. If people don't use their real names, what's the point? Okay, so look for prominent Tommies. That should narrow it down. Veronica Lake, Jimmy Cagney. Joan Caulfield. Um, Winston Churchill came here. Wow. Those who can count and those who can't. Um, I swear, this town is going straight to hell. Bob Hope? 
No, Marilyn Monroe came, apparently. She wants a five-star goddamn wedding. Ava Gardner, Danny Kaye. I, I don't even know who I'm supposed to be looking for, I'll be honest. Winston Churchill. A very patriotic Englishman is staying in room 207. The old bulldog. Even at a flop house, Adley can't get out from his shadow. I'm not sure how that all worked out. I had to click on signatures, not the actual name. But anyway, it doesn't matter. I figured it out eventually. <laughs> okay. Two oh seven. It's the only one with the golden handle. So, again, it's just hanging out in the hallway. What the hell? Door's unlocked. And there's looks like he's had a broad up here. What was the what the helling about? There's flies buzzing. Ugh. Excuse me. This doesn't pertain to the case. Is that a mouth guard? Who are you to who's talking? He must be heading home. You know, I hope he makes it. That crooked son of a bitch, no chance. Myra Hammond, 12 Brick Lane, London, E1. Home soon, your boy done good, Albert. What, would you have a copy of one that you sent? Is that how telegrams work? I guess a fighter has plenty of time on his hands between bouts. Huh. Wonder what movie, a matinee movie. Does Albert have somebody special? I didn't see anyone in his corner at the fight. Over? No? Okay, that's it. What is going on here? Instaheat. Adrian Black's product of choice. Seems like a lifetime ago. Or Parnell Soup Company. Ma's Kill. Smells great, efficient, cost less, and guarantee. Art, color, life. Your every room a gallery. Every wall hung with a miniature masterpiece. Our artists take their inspiration from the classicists, the impressionist schools, and from the ever-changing beauty of nature itself, reduced in pattern to be as refreshing as a summer's breeze. Our new styles are a must for any home decorator. Oh, it's for wallpaper, okay. Win the home of your dreams. Modern living with a touch of style, nat with a touch of natural style. With this South Cot single home, Add a dash of rustic charm to your sleek contemporary living space. And while you're at it, let Mother Nature help you with your heating costs. Shingles of genuine Western red cedar bring comfort and gentility of the old world to your home. And they withstand the weather as heartily as the mighty forests themselves. Coordinate roof and walls in a range of colors to match your decor and taste. Then feel the difference as the natural insulation Keeps your family warmer in the winter and cooler in the summer. I mean, I'm guessing this is pre like actual insulation. South Cot 24 inch split wood shingles are sound investment that lasts a lifetime once installed. Make your family the envy of every other family in the street. Give your residents a touch of English country cottage allure. Feel the comfort in your home and in your hip pocket. Okay, specify your South Cot top grade shingles for your roof and walls. I mean, does it have to be in red and white? Candy Edwards. Candy has expensive taste. Albert has his work cut out for him. Who's Candy? Candy Edwards, the lady who filled out this coupon. All right, let's go after his girl. See if that gets us any closer. Hang on, I'm not done looking around. Looks like Albert has been doing some homework. 11 grand would be a nice little nest egg. Yeah. Especially then, but I'll, I'll take 11 grand right now. <laughs> this guy must have 
Let's go after this girl. See if that gets us any closer. Okay. Hang on. Get out of here. Jesus H. Christ! Who is yelling? Again, why? His mother would be proud of him catching all those criminals. What? Is this the thing people did? They hung out in the hallways. I'm busy now. Can I ignore you some other time? Can I, can you go elsewhere, please? I swear, this town is going straight to hell. I mean, I've lived in many an apartment building. She I've never had an entranceway like this. Goddamn but I've never seen anyone just hanging out in the hallways. Ever. <laughs> but maybe it's a thing people did. Okay. One of these days. We have a save. So I'm actually going to pause here. And on Saturday, we're going to... Where, where are we going to go, actually? To Candy Edwards' address. Her name is Candy. I mean, I won't judge, but her name is Candy. <laughs> Anyways, as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe, and I will see you again on Saturday with another new L.A. Noir video.